If the United States of America thought crippling Huawei's chip supply and straight up banning them from using any American service like Google or even YouTube was going to have the company dead and buried, they have another thing coming. Not only have Huawei picked themselves up and dusted their body, but they've also been relentlessly pushing for a massive comeback, like an athlete keen to prove himself even more. After the ban, one of their impressive endeavors was making their own personal operating system, an OS that may just usurp the throne occupied by the world's best. What's Harmony OS all about, and how can it get the United States of America fuming? Find out in today's video. A while ago, the word on the streets was that the American government got startled, or perhaps even afraid, of Huawei's impressive developments and strides in the fruitful field of fifth-generation mobile communication networks or, more commonly called, 5G. To curtail their advances and get the advantage back to their court, there was simply one way to do so, completely alienate the company by cutting off their chain of supply. While blaming them for being a national security risk by engaging in shady business practices through spying on data from their consumers, or to be more precise, American consumers, the then-president, Donald Trump, ultimately issued an executive order that banned the use of telecommunications equipment from foreign firms deemed to be a national security risk. Soon after, Google publicly announced they would be totally complying with the executive order. For their interpretation, their implemented course of action was to cut off their services from the Huawei company. Of course, this meant Huawei would no longer be able to gain access to the very fundamental services of Android smartphones. The likes of Google Drive, Gmail, YouTube, the Google Play Store, and hey, even Google Maps were immediately no longer permissible for Huawei to use on any of their new products. At the time, it sent a shockwave to the entire tech world. As of then, Huawei was the second largest manufacturer of smartphones in the world, and every single one of them ran on the Android operating system. Without any access to Google services, Huawei got worried, and the fact other tech giants like Microsoft, Arm, Qualcomm, and Intel followed Google's suit, it's safe to assume they felt completely hopeless. However, they simply didn't want to take a no for an answer. After the ban took effect, they issued a couple of statements declaring their intentions to fight the executive order, and shortly after, they filed a legal motion declaring the ban unconstitutional. But, expectedly, it didn't do much. Huawei learned the hard way that fighting an executive order from the president of the world's most powerful and influential nation was far from being easy. Eventually, they stopped making public declarations and filing new lawsuits to overturn the ban, showing they had accepted their fate. But guys, you see, the damage has been done. Globally, the Chinese brand, Huawei, had shipped 33 million smartphones in the fourth quarter of 2020. But while you may be forgiven for thinking it sounds good on paper, it marked a 41% year-on-year decline which had its market share at a mere 8%. With everything put into perspective, Huawei, which was number one in the world as far as shipments are concerned in the second quarter of that year, dropped to being the sixth largest smartphone maker, far behind Apple and Samsung. Amber Liu, an analyst at Canalize Research, stated, Huawei dramatically receded in most markets as the result of the US sanctions. Now that we've talked about the backstory of Huawei's fall, let's dive right into the revival of Huawei with their Harmony OS, dubbed the alternative to Android. Guys, while Huawei is actually unable to use Google-owned services and products, saying they can't use the operating system is far from being true. Android is an open-source operating system, and for those who aren't too familiar with the term, it means that any person or company has the permission to use it for whatever they deem fit without any cost whatsoever. Because most Android features aren't controlled by Google, Huawei could utilize Android without Google to run their phones for as long as they wanted. But trust Huawei to never be content with not doing their best. As a plan B, they made their very own operating system called Harmony OS. So then, what exactly is Harmony OS? In layman's terms, this is a distributed operating system developed by Huawei to connect and collaborate with multiple smart devices on the Internet of Things ecosystem. At the time of its launch, consumers across the globe were rather pessimistic about the chances Harmony OS had. The overseas markets, in particular, all thought that Huawei's Harmony OS would crash and burn. To be fair, it's hard to blame them. In the past two decades, the field of operating systems has always been in a duopoly. We have the Mac OS and the Windows OS for computers, and on smartphones, we already have Android and iOS. If you critically analyze them, you'd notice they all have a common denominator, they're all from American companies. To compound matters, throughout the last two decades of the development of today's operating system market, there have been significant ecological hurdles that have prevented the introduction and development of developing operating systems. Because of that, so many promising operating systems failed in their quest to challenge the older, 
more established operating systems. However, just three years after Google cut off its supply from Huawei, the Chinese brand made yet another breakthrough. According to reports, the smart home control panel that was launched has successfully passed the Open Harmony 3.1 release version compatibility evaluation. For those who aren't aware, Open Harmony is an open source version of Harmony OS donated by Huawei to the Open Atom Foundation. This news is so important because it fully allows the Open Harmony to enter into the smart home market, and just as one would expect, it's great for Huawei. They might become one of the most prominent brands in the Chinese consumer market in the future, causing the system to mature faster. As a matter of fact, the expectations for Open Harmony could even exceed the Harmony system used by Huawei itself. Guys, you see, Open Harmony is an open source operating system, at the base of Harmony OS, that is completely independent of the Android framework, and as of now, its success marks the greatest ever achievement of the domestic OS. Judging by how the United States of America tried to cripple Huawei's development, it's safe to assume they never expected the company to be so resilient in its quest to bounce back, hard. Not only has the US have failed, but the executive order also stimulated Huawei's breakthrough in a couple of fields, like communication technology. While 5G is already deployed and Huawei playing catch-up due to the export bans, the next generation, 6G, is already being developed, and it is said that Huawei is one of the leading giants in that fight. Also, the rapid pace at which Open Harmony is being developed is something to certainly admire. The supply cut from Google prompted Huawei to create a better localized OS and given how the direction of the market is rather multi-terminal, the future market volume could just exceed that of Android and Windows and who's to say that's not an interesting prospect? Open Harmony continually invests in the resource development of chips, third-party libraries, development samples, and many more. In terms of development resources, through cooperating and communicating with mainstream chip manufacturers, Open Harmony has been able to push 11 mainstream chips which help cover the development of small and lightweight standard systems basic functions. Another thing we'd like to add is that the third-party open source library is more like a packaged software function that helps prevent repeated will creation while still improving the efficiency of software development. Ever since Open Harmony was released, more than 10 co-construction units have helped contribute a total of 90 plus JS tripartite libraries that meet developers' capabilities. The development samples and documents have been easy to understand. Thankfully, it helps developers to reduce the costs of learning, which in turn helps them start developing at a quicker pace, and as a matter of fact, the Open Harmony community has uploaded over 300 development samples. At the moment, Huawei is booming. Let's even take a look at the entire Harmony OS ecosystem, shall we? For starters, the Harmony OS Connect allows fast, low-cost connection to users and smart devices like speakers, fridges, and many more powered by the Harmony OS. Those smart devices can then be connected and merged into a super device with only a single touch of a smartphone without even needing to install apps. Isn't that cool? Also, we have the Harmony OS cockpit launched for electric cars powered by their Kirin line. A while back, Huawei also launched a smart console brand called Harmony Space, which allows smartphone apps to seamlessly connect to vehicles. As part of the ecosystem, we have the Mine Harmony OS, a customized operating system by Huawei based on its in-house Harmony OS for industrial use. Guys, you see, Mine Harmony is actually compatible with about 400 different types of underground coal mining equipment, providing the equipment with a singular interface to collect and send forth data for analysis. What do you think about Huawei's recent revival? Should the USA be worried about its operating system and scintillating branches and ecosystem? Let us know in the comments.